So this is all that remains of the old Bryce Cemetery. This is this is the smaller one. Uh, is it a drop or can you actually go in? No, it's just a normal shaft. It's uh it looks like they started open the shaft, but then they, they closed it early on. Oh uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Nope, it goes right there. Yeah, this one doesn't go very far. There's one right next to it though. Should go a little bit further. Yeah, I got water in my a water jug that was frozen. It ain't frozen anymore. How far is that go? Not very. I'm looking at the end of it now. Yeah, I think this one was closed up. It looks like they did. They, this one probably went further. Looks like they closed it intentionally. Look how the rocks are. Yeah, I don't think we forgot about that belt. It's moist down here. Oh yeah, it goes a lot further back. Oh. You can see? Yep. However, right. I don't know if there's any animals that made a nest back there. Oh. Don't do that. Oh. Are you trying to collapse? The not on top of us, though. No, this, this rock is loose. Don't well, grab it. <laughs> leave the rock alone. Hey guys, we're in this abandoned mine. This rock is loose. I'm gonna pull it. Right? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of vegetation down here. Thanks. I don't want to uh, disturb an animal. There would not be an animal back there. Yeah, I don't think there would be. We can see it goes back for a little ways, though. Mm -hmm. What if it was blocked off to keep something from Crap. escaping? Mm -hmm. Thank you. They are not broken. I too want to see. I cannot see. This is a really single person shaft, really. The deeper it goes. Yeah. You see with the camera with the flashlight? Oh, wow. You can actually crawl over there if you really wanted to. Is that, is that a can of soda right there? Yes, it is. So yeah, I guarantee people have gone back there. In the late 19th century, a prospector by the name of S.M. Perkins was looking to find his fortune in the Jarilla Mountains. It wouldn't be long before he found valuable mineral deposits. He would dig out a mine that would be known as the Manny Baird Mine and would be the future site of Bryce. In 1905, a man by the name George Moffett discovered a gold nugget that was, quote, as large as a man's finger. A gold rush would cause many miners to flood into Bryce in the nearby town of Oro Grande. The town of Bryce would feature the very first schoolhouse in Otero County and would even have a post office, although it would close in 1905. 
But the problem is, here to find anything, you had all the yahoos come up, take their 22s and their 45s and their 9 millimeters and ping, 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 ping. So whenever you're trying to metal detect, you got to pick up all the casings, all the lead, and all the BS before you can actually yeah, get Yeah, we've seen detecting. a lot of that over there. Yeah, yeah. And there's a ton of casings around here, too. So in a place like this, I'm not going to metal detect. I'm going to go up higher on a hill where chances are they're, they're not going to be screwing around, sending rounds over a hill. The higher you get, I look for different types of outcrop that are telling me there might be something there. And then I get to metal detecting because with the metal detectors now, it'll tell you if it's gold, if it's silver, if it's copper. It'll tell you what it is by the sound. So, and I've gotten pretty depth being able to tell. So, so do you do uh, prospecting up in this area often? No, this is, I'm just, I've been here about, I got assigned here about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And, so this was, this is going to be my winter zone, hmm. you know, because it's desert. If it's snowing up in Cloudcroft, you can be here doing stuff. What's nice about New Mexico, the, the greatness in New Mexico to me is you, you can, the ground is so diverse. You can be here doing this when it's 110 degrees here on the floor, then you're up to Nogal or up in the mountains, you know, where they took a, out over a thousand times, 10,000 times what they took out of here. Wow. You know? So your chances of finding stuff up in that country are a lot better. But there's no doubt in my mind, there's still stuff here, but you know, they, these guys weren't doing all this for nothing. It was either a ventilation shaft or it was the initial penetration point, but they called holes like this Widowmakers. The reason they called them Widowmakers is because generally they'd have big, huge timber structures up here, right? And then the guys in the bottom that were actually doing it in the mining or mucking would put it in buckets, which the guys on top would haul. Now, if they were a better operation, they might have a winch. Otherwise, it was just done by power. Well, every once in a while, the rigging would collapse and down the hole everything go. If you're the poor son of a gun at the bottom of the hole, you got nowhere to go, guess what happens? your statistics so the the smart guys the guys that became the rich ones were the guys that always <laughs> stayed on top because <laughs> uh, it didn't do you any good to be in the hole and find it if you didn't get it out the whole purpose of being in the hole was to get it out yeah but I'm almost thinking that down here below someplace there might be a shaft that comes back in here because there's a ventilation shaft there Probably time just lowered the ground. Yeah, so they right. can fucking not get flooding in here. Uh, 
keep this mm. weathering out. I guarantee you the floor is probably wood lined. Mm. So it actually was. Notice, like notice, notice the floor is floors in pieces, or from the ceiling too. I mean, it depends on, of course, the kind of building this is supposed to be. It's like a, it's like a storage shed. Buildings generally have windows, you know. Mm. Yeah. Still a pretty cool little structure. Mm -hmm. Might be like a utility shed for the miners. Oh wait, there's a date. Where? Right here. Oh, I see it. Seven fifteen thirty-six. Yep. Seven fifteen thirty-six. I don't think it's a date. Unless it's July 15, 1936. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Yo. That's fucking cool. This leads to a giant hole. I actually stood up on top of this and uh, looked down the last time I was here. How deep does it go? Pretty deep. Damn. Stand up on top of the metal and look at it. Oh my Holy sh! Wow, this is wild. You can't even see the bottom. Is this the fire house you said? Yeah. This is the Power Gangers Club. What's with what is all this? These are the cans from the powder. Just not nice. Hey, come look at come look at the carvings on the powder house. Look at this, December 1959, 1926 through 1935. Another one that's December of 1959. Check it out. That's really cool. Yeah. This is really cool. That's still really deep though. That's like just below the base hey, of this little hill. Spine and everything. So this is what's left of the Manny Baird mine. The C8 does go down pretty deep. How deep do you think that goes down? I mean, I can see that right now. It's not that deep. We threw a rock down there earlier. What was that, like 50 meters down, you think? Mm, maybe not either. 75. 75 oh, meters? Actually, no. 50 meters is about right, I think. Yeah. 20, 50, between 25 and 50 is a bit more accurate estimate. 
but I can already imagine that this is where it starts and it probably keeps going slowly further down. Yeah, most likely. Only because of the fact, judging by how high this is, like the rest of the terrain, it has to. Because if this is this deep, I know there is even fucking deeper. So. Yeah, it's probably, what's over there is probably part of the same shaft as this one. Yeah. Let's take all the, all the ore out. Oh wow, that is cool. That is a good view. Can you imagine all the donuts you can do in that basin? What about the cotton boost? We just discovered the fucking old railroad. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It's a really nice view up here. You can see the, uh, right down there, the powder house is. Looks like the rain is starting to die down. I'm not entirely sure what this is. But dang, does it look cool. Ignore that, that's the other Jeep. Wow. The other Jeep took another path. Wow, it's a cool little thing. What is it? Like here. Oh, that's where it is? We walked right by it. This probably is also part of the mine right here. I can smell them. Yo. You can see the, uh, the bulkhead holding it up. That is really cool. Let's see. So this is the little Joe mine right here. Ah, oh, they did it with steel. Really wish we could get in here. You can kind of get a decent view of it. But yeah, there's, there's no way we can get past this. It's unfortunate. I can see the mine goes down deeper right there. And then this shaft is probably where we see the, that other entrance from. But that's a, it's a real shame that it's bolted like that with the steel ball, bars. Man, I cannot speak today. So this is also part of the little gel mine. This one's down a little further. Much smaller. But I believe it's part of the same system. Unfortunately, like the other, it's all sectioned off. Is this one any easier? No. It's sectioned off like the other ones are. But at least it looks cool. Ooh, that is a very, very old can. Okay. Oh. 
Well, there's an entrance right there that's been filled in. And there's this curious little mine right here. It's like they started, never finished. As you can tell, it doesn't go very far. Uh, but you can tell they started to dig this out. I don't know why they didn't finish. The mine might have been getting shut down around that time. So this is uh, what's left of the Garnett mine. Uh, it's like a Japanese arc mm -hmm. back in Harris. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And it's still still. Yeah, that's like everywhere, right? This is a, a pretty cool little site. And this is a very well built road. It's different than what we're used to so far. Hopefully, we can make it all the way to the northern side of Jarilla Mountains this way. Wow, that sure is incredible. A railway spur would be constructed to haul out all of the ore from the mines. Hotels, saloons, restaurants, all kinds of buildings were being constructed around Bryce. By 1919, the town boasted a population of over 300. Only a year later, Bryce would be a ghost town. As time went on, many of the mines would be closed or filled up. Most of Bryce's old buildings would be stripped or torn down, and some would be left to decay and turn to ruin. Although there is some small active mining in the region, and some denizens of Oro Grande still come down trying to strike their fortune, the town in the mining area is abandoned. We continued to move north through the Jarilla Mountains and arrived at our final stop in the Bryce Mining area, a small mine once called Tailings. So this is where uh, Tailings is, on the northern side of the Jarilla Mountains. What does the sign say? Registered mining claim. This mining claim is protected under state and federal laws. Absolutely no prospecting allowed. So it's a store, man. Oh, shit. It's mine. That's Yo. why. This belongs to someone. They fucked him up. That's why the road is so big. Is it fenced off? Yeah. Well, look at this. Well. I guess these mines aren't that old. I thought this was going to be as old as the rest of it. Well, it's a good thing we're not prospectors. About as deep as all the other ones. Honestly, I think having a Jeep is kind of like a guy, a jail free card. Think about it. We're exploring a run. Hey, let's go farther. 
Yeah, there's these giant pipes over there. Yeah, I noticed that when we uh, came up, there's just pipes. But it looks like above them, there was uh, up up there, we saw the uh, the other thing. It looked like there was more stuff up there. Huh. I mean, this looks like it's f brand new now. I don't think this is brand new, because okay, this is still pretty old. It still says Abandoned Mine Land Bureau really? Santa Fe. Oh, right there. I didn't even see that. Right here, so what, what mine is this? The Hitman Mine? Mad Mulligan's Mine. <laughs> I don't think this area is in use anymore. All this stuff looks really old. It might be more of a... a what about breaks? Recent <laughs> abandonment. But it doesn't seem like it's still in use anymore. I mean, obviously there's still copper here. Well, I'm saying that like it might still be owned by someone, but they're obviously they're not doing anything with it right now. Well, they are. This is, it's over there. That's why that building that area is fenced off. Oh, over there? Yeah. Let's go see. It's a fence. I can see it. Are you well, sure, though? Looks like closer to the but doesn't the uh, the map say there's ruins up here? No, oh, well, that's a lot to shift direction then. Oh, okay. well, I guess we'll have to turn around in a second. I do want to see what this building is, though. I'm thinking once we get over there, that's when we're going to see the Welcome to Silent Hill sign. Here's the tailings mine right here. Probably the entrance in this area. Probably. Oh shit. There's a ladder. A ladder? Yeah. But is it closed off? Yeah, but it's chained closed. There's no way. This is an actual lid. They use this. What do you mean? You can actually unlock this. If only I brought my lock picking set. Oh, oh wow. Down. Look at that. Oh, and of course there's a sign right there. Okay, this is part of that active one. You think so? I think so. I don't think it is. No, look right there. The sign. Yeah, there it is. Abandoned my land barrier. Impro. Improv Deluga. Improv Deluga shaft. Ooh. Look at that, they have a sign there saying that you can't prospect in the area. You can sit down on the grate though. That's pretty great, isn't it? And they got Okay, okay, this one has more press than the other ones. Let me see it. Oh, 
Hold it. on a second. Oh, Demarlin. He has his own little f***ing thing to drain out water right there. This is the improved one. Very interesting. What's up? Did we miss something? Oh, it's Get a good view in there. Like, but why the f would you want to go down this way? Of all ways to go down. This is the most adventurous route. <laughs> That's also the route that gets you killed. killed. <laughs> Let's have a look. Well, it's not flooded. That was pretty deep, though. That was pretty fucking deep. Hold on, try it again. It sounds like it, it fell more. off the. Oh, there's a drop. Oh, I heard it, yeah. It's about like two and, a half, two and a half seconds, so same depth as the other one. It's mine About 20 ish cool. meters. Hmm. This is really cool. This is really cool. Yeah. It looks, you can tell it, there was the mineral they want is up here. And it started digging this entire area up, and it just did the top for the rest of it. Yeah. That's why it's so trashy. Right now. He had always felt alone Never knowing what to say Where to cause home The former town of Bryce and the many mines of the Jurilla Mountains have had a very significant impact on Otero County. still feel bad by certain age you probably always feel that way. The history of this sun-baked landscape has gone forgotten for many years, but now its tale has been told, and she Bryce will never be sure forgotten. That wherever she tried to go, she was met with a rock door. The family tried to give her away And her friends would forget them And its friends anyway Hey there. Hey there. Aw, oh, you're a good girl, aren't you? No, 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 don't don't run away. It's okay. <gasps> come here. <gasps> come here. <gasps> come here, yeah. That's right, come here. Come here. <gasps> come here. That's right. Yeah, no, you see me. Come on. <gasps> come on. Come on. Come here. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the cow wants anything to do with us. All right. We're trying to go north. pretty bad because of all the rain. I don't think we'll be able to make it through the valley either, but uh, we're gonna try to go through the valley next. <laughs> 